All right, see, thank you. New tonight, an exclusive first-hand account of the fear and the danger gripping Ukraine. A former Stanford man telling us tonight he and his family are afraid for their lives. You saw Connecticut's Mark Sudol with the story. Five o'clock in the morning, start an explosion. Andrei Osachi says he hears bombs going off several times a day in his native Ukraine. He used to live in Stanford, but moved back to Ukraine years ago, where he's been raising his two kids. This is my daughter, Emma. Emma and his son Mark have been taking shelter in a basement with their father. They are 70 kilometers from the safety of the Polish border, but say they are afraid. Every time we have signal and we go to basement, you know, because we attack us every time, every day. Every day we have like three, four times signal and we go to basement. <laughs> Osachi says six days ago, when Russia started attacking, he was in Kyiv. He then took his family on a 19-hour journey to western Ukraine just to find safety. I saved life for uh, my children because in Kyiv, a lot of uh, children was, uh, was dead, you know. Lines to the border are growing and it is taking days for people to even get out of the country. I never see before that, that much car, you know, that much people, this package, this, 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 this children. You have nowhere to go right now, you're waiting. Osachi is working with Stanford attorney Steven Seeger, who says many Ukrainians right now need legal assistance just to get out of the country. I think the legal process needs to be something that they're aware of so that they can avail themselves of opportunities that can get them to safety, get them to loved ones during this dark hour in human history. Seeger says he plans to go over to Ukraine and is asking other local attorneys to help these Ukrainians like Osachi in their desperate time of need. And I want to uh, go uh, back to state. Mark Sudol, News 12 Connecticut.